Hi there. If you're dealing with a cancer diagnosis, what is one of the strongest emotions that you're currently experiencing? If you're anything like me, when I was dealing with cancer, the primary emotion I was experiencing was fear. I feared the disease, I feared the treatment options, I feared hospitals, and I feared that my days were numbered. And here's something that never really made sense to me. It's a proven fact that prolonged fear suppresses the immune system. Yet the way our current medical model operates, the method in which we are diagnosed and treated serious illnesses seems to promote fear. And no attempt is made to mitigate this or change the system. I know it's not intentional, and most doctors I know are really wonderful people, but when we're facing an illness, that's when we need our immune systems to be at their strongest. So it seems to be a bit of a paradox to be put into a state of fear by the very institution that's supposed to be supporting our healing. Why do you think that happens? It's because our current medical paradigm is illness-focused and not health-focused. In other words, our hospitals and clinics and research labs are focused on finding disease and not on increasing our well-being. So if you or a loved one is experiencing fear because of a diagnosis, I'd like to share with you some tips to help support you on your healing journey and also to help you climb out of that state of fear. One way is to stop obsessing about the illness and actually start living life and do all the things you would do as a healthy person, at least as much as your physical condition allows. I used to obsess about my illness and research it on the internet all the time. I would highly suggest that you stop doing that if that's what you're do doing. And you want to focus on health and joy, not on the illness. The second thing is, don't fear the fear. Don't judge the fear or fight it or feel that your illness is going to get worse because you're feeling fear. Gently shift your focus instead to things that bring you joy and give you a reason to be alive. Okay, so what if you fear your treatments? Now, I'm not going to tell you not to have treatments. However, I will tell you to choose treatments, practitioners, and treatment centers that make you feel good about the treatments you're receiving. Your practitioners need to make you feel confident about their ability and your ability to heal and not fearful of your diagnosis. They need to empower you. And this is regardless of whether you choose conventional or natural therapies or a combination or even anything else. It's important to feel safe and empowered. And then just follow your treatment plan like you would do anything else in your life. Just don't obsess about it, researching every little thing about it. Just do them like you would do anything else in your routine and then spend your real time focused on things that make you feel joyful. Another thing I'd like to ask you to do is for you to ask yourself these questions. What do you love doing? What do you want to spend more of your time doing? What makes you feel passionate? What makes you feel alive and gives you reason to be here? In other words, spend all your megabytes focusing on living life the way it's meant to be lived instead of focusing on the illness. One thing I often tell people to do is pretend that you're given a clean bill of health right now. Feel what it would feel like if you were told by your doctor that you were disease free and then I want you to ask yourself, what would I do to celebrate? And actually go and do that. If you're like me, you probably dislike that word remission. When we're cancer free 
and we're told that we're in remission for five years, to me, it feels like a ticking time bomb that could explode at any time during those five years. Why on earth would you want your immune system dealing with the fear of cancer, especially when you're already cancer-free, when you can be doing healthier things like experiencing joy and love and all the cool stuff? This is part of the illness-focused paradigm, not the health-focused paradigm that I advocate for. So if you've been told that you're in remission and it's keeping you in fear, here's my suggestion. Think of it as, remember my mission. It's time for you to remember your mission and find your true purpose and your reason for living and tell yourself, I'm done with cancer. When I was in the other realm, I realized that cancer and many other illnesses we're not just physical diseases. Sometimes it's our physical body's way of communicating with us. For me, it was reminding me to connect with my own deepest longing, my connection with my soul's purpose that I had lost touch with during the course of my life. These are the reasons why I don't believe that the cure for cancer lies in medicine alone. I believe that it's time to change the whole cancer paradigm if we truly want to heal. If it were up to me and you went into hospital for an illness, you would be acknowledged as a whole and spiritual being and you would feel supported and nurtured by a team of caring healthcare practitioners who would be more like coaches and they would help you map out the best way to health. The focus would no longer be on illness, it would be on health. And it would be the job of every healthcare worker to shift the focus of every patient from illness to one of wellness. This means that the patients would learn what it's like to be healthy in every way, physically, mentally, and spiritually. They would be assisted on their best path to healing and living and purpose and joy and even passion. Instead of hospitals, these institutions would be called healthcare sanctuaries. If it were up to me, the atmosphere would be very different from traditional hospitals. It would be supportive, nurturing, and you would feel safe and loved. You would eat wonderful and nourishing foods and would be taught how to listen to your body and to respond to its needs. You would be taught that your body is communicating with you all the time and you will be taught how to tune in. You would be reminded consistently that our bodies are smarter when we, than we give them credit for and our bodies are healing diseases all the time, even when we aren't aware of it. I mean, look at me. Eleven years ago, I was on my deathbed and my organs had shut down. If the doctors were right, I wouldn't be sitting here today talking to you. That's what I would want you to know. A true health institution would teach you how to love and nurture your body and reconnect with it, and you would learn to work with your body, not against it. If it were up to me and you were diagnosed with an illness, you would be asked questions like, have you suffered a trauma recently? Are you lonely? Are there people in your life you love and who love you? Do you know what your passion is? Do you feel your life has purpose? I would remind you over and over again what a miracle your body is, and I would remind you to trust it and its innate wisdom. I'd ask you to celebrate life more, laugh more, and have a lot more fun, and maybe even eat a bit of chocolate. To me, an institution that treats illness in that way would be a paradigm shift in healthcare. You know, I may not be a doctor, but I've been through something that most doctors haven't. I've faced end stage cancer and come out the other side, so I now know how I would have liked to have been treated. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next week.